For close to 25 years, Christine Arnoux has been a part of Australian music history, thanks to songs like Party, Sunshine on a Rainy Day and this incredibly beautiful ballad. While she certainly has a penchant for a pop song, the ARIA Award winner also uses her voice for causes close to her heart with her latest project helping people heal together. It's always great to say hello to Christine Arnu in the studio with us. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. you Interested too. to hear more about this uh, project, the Healing Foundation. Tell us about it. Uh, Not-for-profit um, organisation working very closely with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities to address uh, inter intergenerational trauma and to heal together from that. So this song came um, after the 10-year anniversary of the National Apology to the Stolen Generation. Um, and a song that's closely associated with that is the Archie Roach song, um, took, took the Children Away. And mm -hmm. that was a phenomenal song, a prolific song for what it represented at the time. And, and it's a hard act to follow, but yeah. it really needed a song that would represent something that we could move forward to together as a nation. Yeah, terrific. T tell us about the work that they do and how this helps. Well, the work that they do is really closely connected to help children, families and communities in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander to work out what it is for them because healing's not a blanket solution. It's very independent and it's personal for everybody but we needed to find a way, um, especially in a song which is such a powerful tool, um, to bring, bring the discussion together around healing, to bring the conversation and the dialogue about what that looks like for a nation to be... Um, at, and with a song that mean, that represents hope for the future. Yeah, yeah. Now, next year uh, will represent 25 years since you released your album, Styling Up. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I think it's hard to believe because, really, it never feels like your music goes anywhere. It's always still there somewhere, yeah, you know, on radio yeah, or fact, around Yeah, in fact, every us. time I'm on stage gigging, yeah. they're, they're, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's great, though, that your music it never really leaves us. So, I mean, when you reflect back on that time, though, 25 years ago, mm. what were some of the biggest challenges that you, you went through? releasing Oh my music. God, just staying current. Yeah. Um, being able to have the opportunity to gig every week, every weekend, um, to be able to have the opportunity to come on and speak to the media about um, what my voice means yeah. um, and, and to be able to, you know, put my songs out there in, in front of a, a medium that's really, really important. But yeah, what does it mean? It means that um, it's all about today, um, to make tomorrow matter, but once you're there, it's about, the hard work is about how do we stay there? How, yeah. do, how do I stay there and how do I stay relevant and current in this um, fast-moving, technological, <laughs> digital yeah. society of ours? Which you have, your music is still here, but did you think at that time, at that point you made that album, were you thinking, you know what, in 25 years we'll still be talking about it? No. No, I'm going to be really modest and say it was a dream come true and the fact that I got into a studio environment, worked with producers, signed a record deal, you know, that was a dream come true. If it never happened after that, I got a chance. Yeah. And in fact, if I got a chance, I probably opened up the door and an opportunity for those coming behind mm. me. And, and that was important just to make that first step. But here I am, I'm still still singing the same songs and, and still still yarning the same yarns about yeah. myself. And still opening doors to people behind you as well. Oh, yeah. You know? Fingers crossed. And yes. what I love about your music, I just always feel it represents us as Australians mm. so well. You know, whether it's you know at a sporting event, you know, anywhere in the world. But when you think about it, you, you were really launching this new music in the '90s, where there was a lot of hip hop and R and B, and you you probably could have been influenced in a lot of different ways, but you really stayed true to what you wanted to do, didn't you? Absolutely, and it comes from this little humble little song called My Island Home. And once we all decided that that was what was going to be, for want of a better description, a brand, mm. uh, then it would be a no-brainer to be able to be talking about things that are true to my heart. I talk about my culture with passion. I, I fly my flag, flag with such pride. Mm. It's easy to be me, and as long as I am sticking to that formula, it's based on culture and culture never goes away it lasts forever mm. beautiful 
you're now uh, playing music instead of performing it. How's radio life treating you? Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Sally. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I was terrified four years ago um, and I thought, oh my God, who do they get for this gig? <laughs> you know, um, uh, I had wonderful uh, mentors around me just saying, listen, it took us four years to get there and I'm like, wow, I've got a long way to go. However, I've found the art of storytelling through radio without the visuals and without, uh, with just the power of word, words, has really made me a stronger en engager or, you know, the way that you connect with people yes. is, is, it's free and it's open because you can't act it out. Yeah. You've got only you and the word that you stand upon to engage with people and I just love it. Yeah, good stuff. Well, when Please. it's officially 25 years next year, you'll have to come back and see us, Christine. Please. Maybe sing us a song. Sing, sing a song, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yes. Maybe a little ditty. <laughs> maybe, definitely. <laughs> good to see you. You Thanks, too. Christine. <laughs> For more on Christine's new song as well as the Healing Foundation, head to thedailyedition.com.au. All right.